In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can start a UGC business and why this is one of the best online businesses you wanna start this year. All you need is your smartphone and some creativity and that is it. Now, I have a unique perspective on this business model because I'm also a UGC content creator myself, but also I hire and work with UGC content creators for my brand and other business partners that I work with. Trust me when I say I have been a part of plenty of marketing campaigns where creators have made five figures plus. So I deeply understand both sides of the business and I can help you make the most money from these deals because I know exactly what these companies want and what they will be looking for. So what is a UGC content creator in the first place? Well, UGC stands for user generated content and companies use this content to help create a more authentic and genuine feel to their brands. They also use this content to post on social media or run paid ads. As a UGC content creator, you create content for these brands to post so they don't have to create content for themselves. So you may be wondering, what is the major difference between an influencer and a UGC content creator? Oftentimes, UGC creators are confused with influencers who post on their own social channels promoting different products. However, the main difference here is where this content is actually posted. Influencers are typically paid to promote products to their specific target audience on their own personal social media platforms in hopes that their posts will result in sales for the brand they are working with. Additionally, these brands are paying influencers for their products to reach a broader audience. Now, a UGC content creator will create similar content for that same brand, but the content will be posted on the brand's social media platform instead. In this case, brands aren't necessarily looking to reach a whole new audience. They are more so trying to build a deeper relationship with the core audience they already have. A lot of the times though, if the content is really good and relatable enough, UGC content can bring in new audiences and attract new fans to the brand. For example, a brand like Starbucks uses UGC all the time. One quick scroll through their Instagram reels and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. You will see everyday people talking about how much they love Starbucks creating content with their phones. You also may be wondering why has UGC become so popular? Let's face it, everybody hates ads, okay? You don't like ads, I don't like ads, and the data behind this shows it. 75% of marketers claim that UGC makes the brand more authentic. 31% of consumers say ads containing authentic UGC content is way more memorable than branded content ads. And also, consumers spend five hours a day with user-generated content. Also, brands don't need a huge marketing budget for UGC content creation. Not to mention that real people are just preferred by social media algorithms, meaning that UGC content gets more likes and engagement and more reach. So now that you understand what UGC is and why it's so powerful, I'm gonna walk you through how to get started. Getting started as a UGC content creator is super simple and easy and it doesn't require you have a huge follower account or anything like that. The first thing that you want to decide is what niche you want to go into. Ask yourself, what are you most interested in? Now, if you really don't know where to start, I'm going to share with you some of the most popular niches that I think you should consider. The first niche that I recommend is cooking. If you're somebody that loves to cook, then I definitely recommend this niche because there are a lot of angles that you can take with it. You can create vegan dishes, keto, food for kids, etc. The next niche that I recommend is fitness. Now this is a very broad niche but is extremely popular. So if you're somebody that really enjoys working out and eating clean and giving some really good fitness tips, this can definitely be the niche for you and it can be extremely profitable. The next niche that I recommend is skincare and grooming. So for all my bearded folks out there, this is definitely for you right? Because you can get your beard oils and all of that type of stuff, right? Um, but also if you're into skincare routines, skincare products, like this is a very huge niche and very popular. So if you're into that, 
this could work for you as well. The next niche that I recommend is fashion. If you're somebody that spends all their money on clothes, this is 100% for you. And there's so many things you can do within the fashion niche, like your options are endless. You can showcase outfits that you put together, you know, give critiques on celebrities, fashion choices, you know, showcase upcoming, you know, clothes that are being released, like your options are literally endless. The last niche that I recommend is the productivity niche. Over the last several years, the productivity niche has really started to explode and people are looking for all kinds of different ways to excel in all areas of their lives. So if you're a type A person, that is really good at explaining, you know, how to be productive, how to structure your day, how to prioritize tasks, stuff like that. This is definitely the niche for you. So once you decide what interests you the most, you want to start creating content. I recommend creating TikTok style content first because this is what most brands need right now, but also test your skills with regular photos and videos as well. You really want to spend time just developing your your craft and figuring out cool ways to showcase different products. The best thing to do is just start with products you already own. Okay, so now I want to share with you some skills that you definitely want to develop if you really want to be a successful UGC content creator. So the first one is video editing and photo editing. You know this, you have to create content, so this is very important. The second one is copywriting. Sometimes you may need to write scripts or captions, but most of the time companies will have copywriters, so you don't really need to worry about that. Um, another one is live communication. This is vital because they may want to use you for a live stream or something like that. So you definitely want to be able to improv, you know, and be on camera. And the last one is just having basic marketing knowledge. So understand how a sales funnel works you know, understanding how to do market research, understanding how social media algorithms work. All that is very, very important if you wanna be successful at being a UGC content creator. Okay, so once you have started to develop these skills and you've created some content that you feel confident and good about, you want to build and create your portfolio. Now, I will say there are a bunch of ways to do this for free using something like Canva that a lot of creators have been showing on TikTok, which is super dope and easy. However, I will say going the extra step and getting a website with something like Squarespace will set you apart from other creators going the free and easy route. Squarespace allows you to get your own domain, which adds a professional touch. Plus having your own website, when people search for UGC creators online, your website has an opportunity to pop up, thus getting you more deals. So use the link down below if you'd like to sign up for Squarespace today. So now I wanna share with you what you should have in your portfolio. The first thing is a short bio of yourself. The second thing is showcase positive results that you have from any previous campaigns. So showcase how much reach, engagement, and sales that your previous content was able to get. Now, if you don't have this and you're new, this is totally fine. You don't need it, it's just good to have. Another thing you should have in your portfolio is what type of content you create and share examples. You should also have your packages and your rates on there. You should also have your social media handles and some type of contact form. Once you have created your portfolio, it is time to start reaching out to brands. As somebody that's been in the marketing and sales industry over the past eight years, Cold outreach is extremely hard to do and a lot of people get it wrong. So first things first, you need to know when is the best time to send emails to brands in the first place. So in the marketing industry and in branding, a lot of brands do a thing called media planning. This is when they create their campaigns, figure out how much budget they have, etc. Okay. And a lot of brands do media planning a year to six months in advance. Okay. And so a lot of times the best time to reach out to a brand is either at the end of Q2 or at the end of Q4. Okay. Now that doesn't say you can't reach out to brands, you know, throughout the entire year. I still recommend you do that. 
but you probably will have a higher success rate during media planning times. The next thing you wanna do is figure out who you need to connect with and who's the best person to email. Now, I do wanna let you know that all marketing managers and product managers are not made the same, and most of the time, they don't have a lot of say in the creative process. So the best person that you always wanna reach out to is somebody on the creative marketing team. Okay, and so if the person that you reach out to is not the actual decision maker, you know, ask them kindly if they can give you the email of the actual decision maker um, so you can get in contact with them. Now, I will say LinkedIn is always gonna be the perfect place to network. And I would also go to the brand's website to see if they have an organizational chart to make sure that you're on the right path in emailing the right people. Now, you may be wondering what you should put in the email itself. A great approach is to simply introduce yourself and what you have to offer. Keep it simple, short, and sweet, and never use links. If they respond and seem interested, you can then showcase content that you have already made for their brand in particular. This way, they already know the type of content you create, and if they really like the content, they can buy it from you right on the spot. Code outreach takes time, so don't get discouraged if you don't hear back from anybody. It is literally a numbers game, so reach out to as many brands as you can every single day. Just like any other business model, becoming a UGC content creator will take a lot of hard work and effort, but it is 100% worth it and it is definitely the best business model you wanna start right now. Now, if you're interested in how you can make $1,000 per day just posting on Facebook, check out this video right here.